I'm Michaela Chester, and today we're talking about the March Madness Holy Grail. What are the odds of a perfect bracket in the NCAA tournament? Daniel Wilco did some in-depth reporting for us and a lot of math. Here's what you need to know. The NCAA tournament has been around since 1939. But according to the Smithsonian, the first bracket pool started in a Staten Island bar in 1977 with 88 people. Today, millions and millions of brackets are submitted each year. And yet, no one has ever picked all 63 games of an NCAA tournament correctly. But does that mean it'll never happen? Let's start with the popular answer. Yes, that's exactly what it means. The odds of a perfect bracket are one in 9.2 quintillion. That's wrong, and we'll get to why it's wrong in a minute. But first, let's explore what it means. Since 1985, every NCAA tournament has had virtually the same format. 64 teams playing in a single elimination tournament consisting of six rounds. Since only one team leaves the tournament undefeated as the champion, that gives us 63 games to predict in our brackets each year. How does this affect your odds? Let's look at a hypothetical. If every team had exactly 50-50 odds of winning any particular game in the tournament, then it would be fairly easy to calculate the odds of a perfect bracket. To find the total possible bracket possibilities, we can take the number of outcomes for each game, two, and multiply it by itself for the number of games in the tournament. For a bracket consisting of just a final four, four teams, three games to decide a championship, that's two to the third power. Two times two times two, a relatively easy one in eight chance at a perfect bracket. But move to eight teams and all of a sudden, you're up against one in 128 odds. And that exponentially increases until we get to a bracket with 64 teams and 63 games. Two to the 63rd power is one in 9.2 quintillion, meaning there are 9.2 quintillion bracket possibilities. That's an impossibly large number to understand. In the order of super large numbers, quintillion, it goes like this. Million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, and then quintillion. How big is 9.2 quintillion? There are approximately 7.5 quintillion grains of sand on the Earth. If I pick exactly one grain of sand from anywhere on the planet, your odds of guessing that exact grain correctly on your first attempt are better than picking a perfect bracket. Again, this is all if games had 50-50 odds, which they don't. Basketball games are not 50-50 odds. Some teams are just better than others, and people use a wide variety of information that can give them a much better idea of who might win a game. Plus, there's just a certain level of chaos to March Madness. But let's say you simply use common sense and pick your brackets based on likely outcomes as opposed to the coin flipping tactic. Thanks to picking data from millions of brackets in our bracket challenge game over the years, we've learned that the average user gets approximately two thirds of all games correct. If we take that accuracy and expand it through the entire tournament, we get odds of one in 120 billion. That's 70 million times more likely than if every game was a coin flip. But this does not mean anyone's getting a perfect bracket. If you were able to fill out a complete bracket every second of every day, it would take you a quick 3,813 years before you could create 120.2 billion unique brackets. All this might leave you feeling despondent, but in the eight years that we've run a bracket game, the best we've ever seen is 55 correct picks of the 63 games, which happened eight times in 2019. The same year, one person started his bracket with a record 49 straight correct picks. And fun fact, that bracket with the 49 for 49 start was not one of the ones that got to 55 correct picks. Greg Nigel would only get five more correct over his final 14 games and finish with 54 correct picks. So a person that picked the first 49 games exactly right finished with 92 points good for only 240,668th place in the overall game standings. That's not odd. The brackets we track that stay perfect the longest don't end up winning. Because in order to have a perfect bracket early on, 
you have to take some pretty crazy risks, many of which can haunt you down the road. So yes, a perfect bracket is nearly impossible, but that shouldn't stop you from your quest.